Hello YouTube, long time no talk. I hope you all enjoyed my past doodle week. Though it took me a long time and sometimes I didn't get them out completely on time, I did it and I had a blast doing so. Don't worry, Fridays will remain Doodle Friday for as long as I can keep them going. Anywho, let's get into Micro Monday with my three top choices for back to school. Obviously, everybody's program is going to be different, not to mention the level of school you guys are in. Most of you are probably in high school. But I am in a college BA illustration program, so I have to lug around crap loads of sketchbooks, references, you name it. Now I do have a couple book courses here and there. I really hope I didn't just crush some future artists in my YouTube crowd. It's art school, right? You really shouldn't have any hard courses. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but all of the classes are hard, even the art-related ones. And if you want a higher degree, like a BA, like I'm getting, you have to actually have academic courses. I know, it's pretty lame sauce, right? And I think we all know the must-haves for back to school could probably go on forever. But after some long, long thinking, I managed to narrow it down to a three. Okay, so first off, if you don't have this number one item, which is an app by the way, bonk, you should have had a V8. Even if you aren't in school, this app is amazeballs. I would actually keel over if I didn't have this app. It's called Evernote. You know, when you were browsing through your free popular app section on your iPad, Mac, or iDevice in the App Store, and you see that elephant looking thing over a green background in the top five area, well then bam, you probably didn't know that it, that is quite possibly the best freaking organizing app available, and it's free. With this app, you can take text notes, eyesight video notes, even audio notes. There are features such as checkboxes and tables that you can insert into your text notes that will help you create goals, remember assignments, and hell, even keep track of your daily chores. And as if that isn't helpful enough, when you use your Evernote app, you actually have to create an Evernote account first, which means it will sync up to any device that has Evernote with an internet connection. For those of you that don't know, I am a huge Apple fangirl and I have an iPhone, an iPad, and two Macs. With this app, I don't need to only use my iPad or my iPhone. I can access my notes on any one of those devices. I'm telling you, if this app didn't exist, I really don't know what I would do. It is my agenda, my commissions journal, my grocery list, you name it. I know I've been talking about that for a long time now, but it's time to go to my number two must have. It is a portable computing device. Be kind of useless if you didn't have one of these and you needed to use Evernote, right? In my opinion, in our day and age, every student must have some kind of a portable computer, especially in post-secondary school. In elementary school and high school, you can probably get away with not having one, but my younger brother told me that high schools are now integrating pretty much all online courses now. In terms of portable computers, I would have to recommend the MacBook Air. Now I know some of you are going to be all like, why buy that? It's more money for less power, blah blah blah. This is not true guys. This 13 inch base model MacBook Air, sporting the new Sunnybridge Intel processor, makes the Air so fast that sometimes it loads things faster than my Hackintosh. The solid state drive, though only 128 gigabytes in capacity, is silent and oh man is this baby light weighing at 2.96 pounds. Starting off the semester with my 15 inch MacBook was a nightmare for my back. Now I've got an amazingly fast computer that is so light my sketchbook weighs more. The only downside of the Air is its storage capacity, which brings me to the must have number three. I don't care what program you are in or if you're still in high school, you will need to have a flash drive. I carry two 8GB flash drives with me at all times, they are clones of each other so if one dies I have another one just in case. I would recommend the PNY series of portable flash drives, this one here is so little and it features a keychain or lanyard adapter to prevent us clumsy folk from losing the damn thing. These drives, guys, will help you with the capacity issue. I know you're probably thinking 8 gigs, well, 16 gigs isn't a lot of space, but when it comes to saving Word documents, PowerPoints, stuff like that, you can put them on your USB drives and avoid putting those things on your disk drive. That about sums it up for my three must-haves for back to school. Of course, it's not such a bad thing having them even if you aren't in school, but you know what I mean. If you guys can think of anything else that you would need in school, put a comment down below. 
If you guys read it, maybe you can help each other out. If you have any questions about any of the products I talked about in this video, give me a shout and I'll get back to you ASAP. If you like this video, don't forget to click the little like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you aren't already. See you on Wacky Wednesday, and if you aren't already, please subscribe to my third channel, Techie Just Doodles, for Tuesday and Thursday speed drawing tips. I've been getting a ton of requests from you guys, and I figured I may as well meet your requests and start that up on my other channel. Until next time, folks, toodles!